Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics course. In this part, we are going to look at undefined and null. Undefined is used when you haven't assigned any value, whereas null indicates absence of value. Undefined and null are also type, so you can use them as a type as well as value. Types generally accept null or undefined as value, except when we are in strict mode where null and undefined are not allowed unless the type explicitly accepts those values. We'll see some examples to make more sense of these. So I have VS Code open here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called test and I'm not going to specify any type and I'm not going to assign any value. So by default, if I haven't specified any type, uh, TypeScript is going to infer that this is of any type. So if I hover over this, you can see that uh, TypeScript has inferred that this variable is of type any. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to print the value of this variable now. So I'm going to say console.log uh, test. So what I'm expecting to see now is because I haven't assigned any value to this variable called test, I'm expecting to see undefined as a value for this variable because uh, like we have seen previously, if we haven't assigned any value, it's going to be undefined by default. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to, I need to start my compiler. So control shift B to build. I'm going to build this and then I'm going to run this. So if I run this, so you can see here, the value is printed as undefined. So by default, it prints undefined. So the behavior won't change even if I change the type to say number. So this is a number variable now, but still I haven't assigned any value. So it's still going to be undefined. So if I run this, you'll be able to see undefined here. See, you can see undefined. As I mentioned earlier, we can also use undefined as a type. So I'm going to say undefined here. So I have specified undefined as my type. Uh, if I run this, I'll still see undefined as my value, as you can see here. If I try to assign null to this variable called um, test of type undefined, it is going to accept that value. And if I run this, you will be able to see null as a value, as you can see here. This is allowed in non-strict mode. We'll see what strict mode does a little bit later, but we are running all the code in non-strict mode now. In non-strict mode, undefined and null are treated more or less same. So you can assign value null to a type, which is undefined. But if I change this to something else, say for example, number five, my compiler is going to complain that I can't assign value four to a type undefined. See, if I hover over this, it says exactly that. So it's not allowed. And it's same if I use type null. So if I change the type to null, it's still not allowed because you can't assign value four to a type null. But I can assign null or I can also assign undefined because in non-strict mode, uh, null and undefined are more or less same. Uh, at least compiler treats them more or less same. What we can also do is if I specify the type of this variable as number, I can still assign undefined and I can also assign null. Both undefined null or valid value for number type in non-strict mode. I can also assign a proper value. So if I assign 4, it's still going to work. So that's how it works in non-strict mode. I want to show you something about a special type called void. We have seen void previously, it's generally used as a written type for the function. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say the type of this variable is void. I know it, it doesn't make any sense, but bear with me. This will be useful when you have void returning function. We'll see that in a bit actually, but before that, bear with me. So I have created a variable called a test and its type is void. And I can't assign a value to it. Um, I can't assign a number value to it because it's not compatible with this type void. But what I can do is I can assign undefined. Undefined is still a valid value. And I can also assign null in non-strict mode. So both null and undefined are accepted value for void type in non-strict mode. You might wonder what's the use of having a type called a void and allowing it to accept null or undefined as a value. So it will be useful when you have a function with a void written type and you want to return from that function without 
completing all the statements available in that function. Let me show you an example actually. Let's say I have a function uh, which is say test func. It's not going to take any parameter but its return type is going to be void. Let's say I have few statements. I'm just going to create some statement. So I have a condition here. Let's say I know I haven't covered control flow and operator set but bear with me just to explain this. I'm going to create if condition here. I'm going to check if one is equal to one. If it is the case then I'm going to return from here. If it is not the case then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something else so i'm going to create another variable called two and i'm going to return from here so as you can see here though the function's return type is void i still want to come out of this function rather than executing all the lines available in this function so to come out of this function before executing all the lines i have to use return keyword when i use return keyword uh, by default it returns undefined as a value so to make that undefined compatible with the void type TypeScript allows undefined as a valid value for void type. So I can also return undefined explicitly. So it's still going to work. And I can also return null explicitly in non strict mode. It's still going to work. But what I cannot do is I cannot return a number from here. It's going to complain saying that it's not a valid value. So that's why we have um, void type which accepts uh, null or undefined as a valid value. Hope it makes sense. Uh, let's move on. So we were talking so much about strict mode. So let's see what it is actually. So a strict mode is basically used to avoid accidental null or undefined values. Uh, for example, let's say you declared a variable called uh, test which is of type number and you were supposed to initialize it with the value 5 for example but uh, you forgot to do that so so basically you accidentally forgot to initialize a value to this variable so and then when your program runs in non-strict mode it won't complain uh, let's say you have used this variable in a in another statement in this case we have used it in console.log it's still okay because uh, in non-strict mode by default the value of this test variable will be undefined and when you run this program your console.log is going to print undefined on the screen but if that is not what you are intending to do um, then it will cause problem. So this kind of problem is common. So TypeScript introduced something called strict null check mode where so if you create a variable with a type then by default those types won't accept null or undefined as a valid value. If you want to allow undefined or null as a valid value then you have to make your intention clear by explicitly saying that this variable should accept null or undefined as a value as well. So that way if you accidentally forgot to assign value your compiler is going to stop you um, and it's going to tell you that you're doing something wrong so let's see what i mean what i'm going to do now is i'm going to enable strict null check mode so to do that i'm coming here to tsconfig.json and here i'm going to add a new compiler option called strict null checks and it's by default it is false i'm going to change it to true so now we have enabled strict null check. If I go back to my main.ts, you can see immediately my compiler is complaining that you can't use variable test because it's not assigned with any value. If I try to assign value null explicitly, for example, it's not going to allow it. It's not going to allow you to assign undefined either. But what you can do is you can assign valid number. It's going to work. So as you can see, there is no error. So if I have, let's say, undefined, as a type then I can't assign a valid number because the type is undefined but I can assign undefined but in strict mode you cannot assign null to the undefined type so if I try to assign null it's going to complain saying that you can't assign null to this undefined type similarly if you have type defined as null null is a valid value but you can't assign undefined it's going to complain saying that you can't assign undefined Let's see what happens with the void. So I'm going to change its type to void. So void still accepts undefined as a value, but in strict mode, void uh, won't accept null as a value. So if we change it to null, it's going to complain saying that you can't assign null to void type in strict mode. So that's how it works. Let me change this back to number. What if I want to create a number that should accept null as a value as well. So what you can do, you can use something called uh, discriminated union, which we will cover later in this course. But for now, 
just assume that discriminated union allows you to combine two or more types together and the variable which uses the discriminated union type can have a value which supports any of the type used to create the discriminated union. So what I mean by that is I have this number type. This number type accepts all numbers but it won't accept null or undefined. So if I want to make this uh, variable to accept undefined as a value as well then what I can do is I can say or undefined so if i change it like this then what i'm saying is i have created kind of a composite type which accepts either number or undefined if i remove this assignment now it's still valid this time because undefined is a valid value and by default typescript is going to give this variable undefined as a as a default value so basically if you want to create a type and you want to make it to accept a null or undefined as a value then you need to explicitly specify that in the type definition saying that this variable should accept undefined or null as a value as well so i hope this makes sense and uh, that's it for now i'll see you in the next video thank you